So I'm going to do an unboxing for a Lalabo fragrance that I just purchased which was extremely expensive and I think I'd like to share the experience with my friends assuming we are friends and yes the tag is still on because I plan to return the shit soon after so let's get into the whole packaging because I think the whole packaging is very interesting yeah. with that you can hear me much clearer so let's go on to the packaging we get this really nice paper bag I love paper bags <laughs> like I have a whole container filled with paper bags and getting one from Lalabo is just really really interesting I bought Santal 33 one of the most popular fragrance from Lalabo now why is it called Santal 33 now the name Santal refers to sandalwood sandalwood being the main note used the most prominent note used in this fragrance and 33 refers to the numbers of notes or ingredients used to make this fragrance which is really interesting yeah so let's get into it uh, the top layer we see this black paper and me realizing i've already spent two minutes and haven't even started the review or uh, the unboxing so next we have something more, like really, really interesting i'd like to i'll also like to talk about from the labo which is the city exclusive now what is or are the city exclusive uh, a line of fragrance that they made that represent each city they have one uh, representing tokyo there's berlin there's seoul and many more so these city exclusives are only available once once a year being in the month of september so you can only obtain the city exclusives based on this very wonderful newspaper they gave me once a year which is within the month of september and these city these lead city exclusives are very expensive they are double the price of a normal lola lapo fragrance are they extremely good personally i did some reviews i wouldn't say they are worth the price because double this is 1.2 and double of that would be 2.4 which is kind of absurd <laughs> they are great but not that great they're not 2.4 great <laughs> trust me they're not but if i was sponsored you should buy the city exclusives they're super good super exclusive if you want to be different than everyone else you buy the city exclusive but i am not sponsored so my honest opinion stay away from them they're really expensive 1.5 ml goes about 50 ringgit which is absurd for this fragrance oh let's go to the unboxing next what we have interesting is a smaller paper bag which is nice because i like paper bags it's uh when you purchase with a labo they give you two vials and I asked for the Noah and another 13. They also gave me some skin hand wash thing. I'm not pretty sure. I'm not going to use it. Santal 33. And I'm going to do a, you know, atas bawa shot so you can really see what I'm going to talk about. So let's go. So as you can see, this is Santal 33. As I mentioned, the interesting thing is about the labo they'll do this compound in KLCC on today's date and for Pute, which is me. And yeah, this is the seal, show that it's not open and showing this. I'll be opening it together with you guys. I'll need my razor. So I'm just gonna So they write this little cute thank you card. The perfume and candle care. Now let's get into the fragrance. There we have it. Santal 
33. As you can see, compound in KLCC on this date for Handmade Lalabo Lot 105, first floor, Surya KLCC, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. So that is attention to detail. There's not really much inside. It's just a nice, it's just a, a nice box with paper, another sheet of paper. But yeah, other than that, it's not really, not, it's not, it's not really like super nice. It's not anything fancy or any gimmicks. It's pretty straight cut. Santal 33. So that is pretty much the unboxing of a Lalabo fragrance. It's pretty much, it is similar to about all the other ones. They are really this minimalistic lab kind of vibe fragrance or perfume house, which is really, really nice. Oh, the first thing I do whenever I get a fragrance, the first thing I do is always spray inside the cap. Now, what is sandalwood or santal? Or well, sandalwood always or most oftenly gives this creamy vibe in a fragrance. A good example of a fragrance that uses sandalwood is Blue de Chanel. You have that citrus vibe in the opening and that sandalwood really makes it creamier. While having sandalwood as a main note would not give you much of that creaminess, it smells extremely different than any typical sandalwood fragrance that I know. Which is Dris Van Noten. So this particular Frederick Mal fragrance has a, a good, good amount of sandalwood and it's an extremely delicious sandalwood. It's a Gourmand fragrance and it's a milky fragrance using uh, latonic notes and with that sandalwood is, it just makes it much, much, much creamier. I think the main difference is in Dris Van Noten, the sandalwood incorporates with the other notes not being a main note or driving the fragrance, it's more of something to complement it, therefore making it creamy, like Blue de Chanel, as I mentioned. So this one, be the main note, the prominent note being, being sandalwood, has a unique, if I, I, I'm also starting to realize that the Labo fragrance have this unique uh, Labo DNA from the ones I've tested, they have this airy vibe which I love in fragrance and also before uh, for most of the, the Labo fragrance they will inform you to wait 14 days for the perfume to macerate which is another interesting about the Labo fragrance is because they uh, create the perfume as you order them and then they work and I'll show you a video about it which makes the experience much better and a whole new in a whole new level but what I'm getting now, it's not the Santa Tutti I'm supposed to get. So for me to give a better review on it, I will have to wait at least a week. I would say best a month for the fragrance to really menstruate and for all the ingredients to really incorporate with each other to get what I'm paying for. So that's for now, Santa Tutti is not much. And I have to, I have to, I'll have to wait a while to get the real and the true Santa Tutti but as for now, even this smells really, really good. It's really unique. I understand why it's the most popular fragrance from the house. It's really unique and I can understand how people like it. But as I said, I only bought it today. I will have to wait at least a week. And personally, I will wait a month to let it really, really menstruate to get the best out of it. So that is my unboxing for Slow Labo Santal 33. I did a short review on it a comparison with a few other sandalwood fragrance i'll give a full review on sandal tree tree in a week or you know uh, but i'll be putting this one up very soon patchouli 24 this one has been menstruated for a very long time and i'll give a review on that very shortly thank you for watching 